Hey everybody, good morning. This is All The Things, back with a, another book review. And today we're talking about how to break your addiction to a person. So, funny story about this book, because I had gone through a breakup and I was mailing some stuff uh, back to my ex that she had left at my place. And um, I was at the UPS store and this very lime green book was like on the shelf, like at the register. And I was still kind of like boohoo about um, any of this relationship. So I was like, oh, that might have some good ideas in it. Maybe, I don't know. But I was like too embarrassed to buy it. So when the uh, guy at the register wasn't looking, I kind of like took a picture of it and then I bought it on Amazon later. But uh, long story short, I obtained this book to see if it had any useful knowledge during the breakup period of a relationship, which I was experiencing at the time. And it was a fairly quick read. Um, it's about, let me see, about 250 pages. Uh, really not complicated PhD type stuff, even though it's written by somebody who is a PhD. Um, but let's get into it. Before we get into it, if you like this channel, if you like book reviews, please give me a like. Please comment below. I love seeing what you guys think about these reviews. And, you know, if you want to subscribe, I do every book that I read and I'm trying to read more, so it only encourages me to do more book reviews. Anyways, now that we've talked about the story behind why I got this book and I've done a little plug, the book I think was actually pretty good. It was uh, not this, like, a bunch of epiphanies, but it was something to help me focus my mind on uh, moving on and like look at stuff from different perspectives. I think often when you're like in a, like a boohoo, like sad phase for whatever reason, you tend to think the same thought over and over and it's hard to get out of that. But having something to like focus your mind on or help you get out of that, that whirlpool can be really helpful. And so this, uh, this book gave me some different things to think about or different ways to think about, um, like being with a person that uh, I wasn't really prone to at the time. And it phrased it in a really interesting way, which is being addicted to a person. Uh, originally, aside from the lime green cover of the book, the title of the book drew me to be interested in it because I didn't think you could be addicted to a person. I you could be addicted to like cocaine or to food. Um, but to be addicted to a person was like, intriguing to me like maybe it was that me i don't know i don't really know anything about this concept and it's like a you know 15 dollars book so let me check it out um and these ideas it, it explains kind of some of the stuff i think we talk about in popular media behind like toxic relationships or um just the parts of relationships that can go bad and it it took it from this perspective of addiction that i thought was really interesting where it talked about relationships um, and why we tend to step deeper and deeper into something that may not work out or may not be the best for us because of the way we're thinking about it or the pressures we're under or, um, like the way we're being treated and how we're dealing with that. And so a lot of interesting concepts, uh, and very simple, uh, way it's written. So, um, you don't have to think too much, but you could sit and ponder some of the ideas for a while. A simple read, I don't think you have to be in the boohoo phase after a breakup to read this. I think it'd be better to read it before you even get in a relationship. So you can be like, ugh, I read this in a book. This is not good. Let me address this now. Um, so you don't even have to go through some of the stuff it talks about. But wherever you're at in the relationship spectrum, I think this is a really interesting kind of relationship book because it comes at it from a unique perspective as far as the kind of relationship books I've seen in my life. I haven't read too many, but I've heard people talk about them and I have uh, seen a lot of like advertisements for them and seen them in stores and stuff. And this I think was kind of a, a novel approach to it. So kudos to Dr. Howard M. Halpern, the guy who wrote this. But uh, it's, uh, it's really interesting and it starts getting into the uh, the practicality of relationships and love. I think as I've been uh, growing up and becoming an older person, um, 
there's this split between like the feeling of love and the action of love. And um, I think when those two are the same thing in someone's mind, it's, it's very hard to see something that's not good because um, you may be confusing actions for feelings or motives and intentions and all those kind of things. And not to make a science project out of everything, but I think um, sometimes having good vocabulary or good concepts or, or rules and stuff like that can really help you with, with moving forward in different aspects of your life. So um, it's kind of a short, sweet review. I'd say uh, if, this, if this title sounds interesting to you, I'm not saying that you are addicted to a person or that you will become addicted to a person or this book is for people who are addictive personality type people but um as far as uh interesting approach to a relationship book i think this got it pretty good and i thought there was good content in it um there weren't any pictures in it oh well but uh i enjoyed reading it and i think it helped me a little bit during that boohoo phase uh and so yeah the book is how to Break Your Addiction to a Person. That's the full title. It's by Howard M. Halpern, PhD. It's about 250 pages, no pictures, and I enjoy it. Nice lime green book to help you find it in the dark, I guess, if you're trying to find it with the lights off. But that's pretty much it for this book. I would say interesting book. If you want to learn stuff about relationships from an interesting angle, go for it. If not, it's not the, the king of the secret top of the mountain knowledge for relationships, but it's very interesting. Anyways, this has been All the Things with another book review. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.